far as what we've got going on, Michael, there is a zone that we need to watch pretty carefully. Um, it's involving the Caribbean. And this is the time of year where we begin to, to watch parts of the Caribbean mm -hmm. for possibly um, developing something. You know, it's interesting because, you know, here we are just a couple of days after the climatological peak of hurricane season. We would expect the main development region to be on fire at this point. And then as you kind of head beyond the max, that was September the 10th and September the 11th of hurricane season, you start to see what are called more homegrown storms yeah. and, you know, fronts that'll sag beyond Florida and then in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. So this is going to be a zone that we'll start to watch over the next two days, next seven days. Not a whole lot to watch right now, but this is generally the zone where if something could spin up, this is where we're watching. Yeah, and there, there have been some indications. I mean, if you've been paying attention, uh, showing a system that might form sometime next week and drift in the northward direction could it end up in the gulf could it be in the far western Carib uh, atlantic those are possibilities doesn't mean it's going to happen marissa but nonetheless that um return to the central american gyre mm -hmm. that's going to become part of our conversation again we can see pieces of energy spin off and then it kind of after that, you watch to see where it could go. I mean, nothing is for certain at this point, but an area to flag and to watch. Um, the Central American Gyre, it is an area, an upper level low that can develop this time of year. You can get it a couple of times during, um, I guess, the spring and into the fall season, summer into the fall season. Um, but what you're going to get is over Central America, you can get just some unsettled weather. You can get showers and storms, and you can get some of that energy that can fall off of it, spin off of it, and translate into something that maybe develops out of the Gulf of Mexico out of the Caribbean. So if we see that broad circulation and if it does perhaps move into the southern Gulf of Mexico um, or at the very least pivots a little farther to the north, then that opens the window for possible development. And assuming we don't have significant systems moving from land into the Gulf of Mexico, notably fronts that would steer this thing away, there will be an element of the Gulf of Mexico being at play. We're talking broadly here, Michael, because there's nothing set in stone, but it's very much on our radar for what we need to watch for. You know, and then not, you know, not to discount the fact that even you look at the Bay of Campeche, you look at the water temperature, so there's a lot of other elements that are still way conducive for development. And again, we'll have to watch what happens with the gyre. At this point, I'm not putting a whole lot of stock and investment into that, but something that we're certainly going to watch in the days ahead.